So you're thinking about moving to the Greenville area and Greer is high on your list. You wanna make sure that there's things to do, places to go, places to eat, and you wanna know about the downtown area. So in this video, we're gonna do just that. We're gonna take a tour of Greer Station and I promise you they're gonna have things that's gonna tantalize your taste buds, Focus on all your senses because you're gonna be shocked by the fun stuff you get to do here and the enriched culture and history. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Three. If this is your first time to the channel and you wanna know everything there is about the Greenville area and places like we are today, Greer, South Carolina, then make sure you hit subscribe and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about all the wonderful things happening in Greenville, South Carolina. I'm Tracy Roberts with the Atlas Home Team and we're helping people just like you relocate to the upstate. So whether it's a month from now or if it's a year from now, do not hesitate to reach out. All of my information is below and we'd love to help you make a smooth transition to the upstate. There's lots to do in downtown Greer. Like I was saying, you get to do things like restaurants and bars and all that kind of fun stuff. We're on the corner of Randall Street and Trade Street. And what that gives you is the ability to have three pubs right next to each other. So you have Ollie's Tavern, you have Blue Ridge Brewing Company, and you get to have Poor all right next to each other. So it's not a long walk and there's great food, there's great drinks, right? So if you go to Poor, you're gonna have great food, live music, pool tables, the full works, right? So then you can trail on down a little bit further to get to do things like Dine on Trade. What is that? Dine on Trade is the last Friday of every month that the restaurants and the boutiques, they all come out and they let you have where you get to walk down the street and you get to bump into vendors and you get to have the live music and everything's just a joyous fun time, right? So there's also things like festivals. This is a very huge festival area. So there's ample amount of them. There's like the fireworks, there's a veterans festival. There's so many things that they get to do and it's just a great time. A little further down, you're gonna see Smith & James. Smith & James has been in business since 1916. It is an elite clothing store. You're gonna feel a million bucks when you leave there. They're gonna treat you phenomenal. You're gonna have good quality clothing. They're gonna take your measurements. Your suit's gonna look amazing. Everything about it, you're gonna feel like a rock star. Then you're gonna go further down and you're gonna see Cartwright Hall. Cartwright Hall is so freaking amazing. You would think, that we have so many other restaurants here that it's just another place, right? No, it's a unique experience. So there's multiple restaurants inside it. It is not a food court, okay? Here, a food court, you're gonna get just blah food. It has nothing to do with just other than consumption to fill you up. That is not what Cartwright Food Hall is. They have picked the most elite, amazing food for restaurants to come in. There's a coffee place that's awesome. I just had a London frog there who was to die for. I've never had jasmine in my tea and it was pretty cool. Um, then there's an upstairs space, there's a lower space where if you wanted to dine there, you could go either area. And the back of it is called Carriage House. The Carriage House has even more restaurants and there's also a bar area there. So you would go through the alleyway. Trust me, it's safe. Everything's pretty safe down here. Everything's gorgeous. If you notice the cobblestone roads, everything's gorgeous. Let's talk about why everything is the way it is. These buildings, there's roughly 40 of them. They're on the National Registry for History that they have all been revitalized. They're still standing. They're being used every day. The one cool thing that I've noticed when I was talking to some of these people, the boutique, the hangar boutique, has a mural on the wall that four years ago, they unveiled when they were taking the wall, the covering off that they had on there with drywall. They took it down and they have something from 1920s that is in impeccable condition. And people go in there all the time just to be able to see how great it still looks. There's so many cool things of history and art and you can feel that in the culture and the character of this beautiful city. Let's go check out some more. Strolling down a little further, you're gonna see the mason jar. Amazing. Okay, so there's food, there's live music, there's karaoke. It's just a really great entertaining space if you're gonna have fun with your friends or you wanna have a night out with your spouse to just relax, right? And you're speaking of relaxing, right across is the Cameroon. That is a cigar and accessories place, but don't forget it's also a bar area and it has a large selection of cigars in this humidor. So you're gonna have cigars, you can relax, you can have bourbon, you can have craft beer. This is just a really great relaxing experience. So if you wanna go out with the fellas, that's the place to go. Just a few more steps down, you're gonna to go to Select. Select is a great restaurant. It's called Dining Different, right? So that's their motto, that's their slogan, and they do not let you down. 
different meals for different times of the day. They're open seven days a week. It's just a great treat while you're in downtown Greer. Across the way, you're gonna find a Mexican restaurant chef's kiss it is so good and when you go a little further you're gonna have the coffee shop on the right and we're gonna go to a few more restaurants before we get there I want to talk about toads on trade just like downtown Greenville has mice on Main you find these eight little mice that are these little metal guys and they're so cute right well, in tra on Trade Street, which is the main street of Greer, it's called Toads on Trade. There's 10 of them, and then they have six more, and they call them Toads Off Trade. So on the little side streets, you'll find six other ones. So there's 16 toads for you to find, and I know it sounds kind of crazy, but it becomes a fun thing to do if you go ahead and stop at Abbott's Ice Cream Place, and we'll end up touching that place on the tour. So if you get Abbott's Ice Cream, it's actually custard. We'll talk about that a little bit further. But if you have your ice cream and you're going to check it out, it's a fun thing for the kids to do and see how many that they can find. Right behind the Great Bait Oyster House is the Hampton Inn and a new parking structure. The parking structure was definitely needed because there's festivals and there's so much to do. As you see, I've told you so many things already. There's so many people that flock here. So all their cars have to go somewhere and there's traffic and you don't want to be upset because you can't go do something or you can't find a parking spot so this was such a great thing to happen. You gotta remember, it's a city that started in the 1920s. They didn't think about growth like that. So to have that and to still have the culture and the history of this area is such a blessing. Let's go ahead and check out some more things of downtown. After you've gone in the Southern Sisters and browsed around and enjoyed things like the mimosa bar that you can go in, yes, I said mimosa bar, you wanna go into Abbott's. I don't know if mimosas and Abbott's match, but at least you try. It's a slow churn custard that's really creamy and it's a great thing to do during the spring and summer when you need a, like a cold treat on the hot day. Now, just understand, this isn't just a place for you to be entertained or eat special foods or things like that. While that's great for that, don't get me wrong. And it has its festivals. You could go to the doctors here. There's a doctor's office down there. There's a hair salon down there. There's the church, there's Grace Church. I'm sure you can see it behind me. There's so many things that you can do in this area. So if you come out of church, jump right on poinsett. What are you gonna do? You can go to Sunday church dinner, Sunday lunch. You have so much you can do in downtown Greer, and we wanna make sure you see a couple more things before we're done, so let's get at it. Our last stop of downtown Greer today is Greer City Park. Greer City Park is definitely one of the ones you wanna go check out. They're really great for their green space. They have fountains, they have picnic tables, they have grills, a playground, an amphitheater. They host festivals, all kinds of activities. There's swings to chill out and have fun and relax after you go to church or before you go home after an event. Or if you just wanna watch your kids play on the playground, there's ample spots for you to do that. It's a great place for your family or if you're just trying to relax and cool fun fact, you can have your dogs here. Other than when there's festival times or an events going on, you can have your dogs here. Right, right across the way is Wild Ace Pizza and Pub. So if you're not wanting to be on Poinsett Street, if you're not wanting to be on Trade Street and all the hustle and bustle of downtown, they even have their own parking. So if you're not wanting to fight for parking spots, it's a great place. So pizza and pints of beer and a relaxing atmosphere that you can just have fun with your friends, you can go there. There you have it, all the wonderful things about Greer Downtown or Greer Station, however you want to call it. If you're thinking about making a move to the Greenville area, don't hesitate to reach out. I'm Tracy Roberts with the Atlas Home Team. All of my information is below. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you're looking for amazing videos just like this, go ahead and hit here and you're going to go to all the videos that we have on our channel.